Jeremy, I am done waiting. Where is Kyrie? So now you're hard of hearing. I gave you a week to find him and you have not found him yet. I gave you a week to die and you are still alive. Tell me, where is my grandchild? Yell at me again, and I'm going to empty this clip on your ass. Kyrie is with his mama. That is all you had to say. I'm just going to call and verify. There are 10 digits in a phone number and 13 bullets in this magazine. You will not be able to complete the call. I also know you're an old woman who ain't trying to get thrown in nobody's prison. And the only reason I haven't come over there and tapped your ass yet is because of that gun. But you ain't shit without that gun. Come beat me up. Hello, Tamika. I know you've been away abandoning your motherly duties, but while you've been doing that, I thought you should know that your mother dropped my grandson off three weeks ago at an unknown location, and she has not found him since. What are you going to do about it? Hello? Is that the hang up on me? She hung up, which means she's on her way back to Texas. And you're in big trouble. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here, and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. <sighs> now, I do have a few house rules, though. One of them is to stay out of my way, or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little, and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> <laughs> try locking me in one now. I want to see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind. Where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendrick. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. 
What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. <sighs> and by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's gonna help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon is gone. He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Savon, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. Savon, when do you usually get the baby? On weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savant. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait till Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. Brian. Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? So why, who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. 
I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve, but I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. Take it back right now. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute. You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks and you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela, bitch, you know who you yelling at. All right, now you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is I supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? The hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie. Kyrie, this shit is getting old. We are two days into the school year and your ass is already getting expelled. Mama, I do not like Roosevelt. Send me back to Judson. Did you forget that you got expelled from there too? Start taking some accountability, Kyrie. I am not an accountant. I don't have a degree to process accountability, let alone count. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. You're not about to give me no damn heart attack. So your little ass can rot in alternative school. I know how to get kicked out of alternative school too. Oh my God, where did I go wrong with you? The better question is, where did grandma go wrong with you? I am my mother's child. Hey twin. Savon, I thought I told you I didn't want to see you unless you had my money. I didn't gave this girl another $200 for child support. Where is the original $200 I gave you? I spent it on Shay. You spent my money on this walking lace front? Yes, he did. Since you're forever crying about not wanting any more grandkids. Savon, do you not know how to pull out? Damn! You have managed to get every girl you've been with pregnant and my dumb ass keeps giving you money. Mama, I thought you would be happy. I am disgusted. The person that needs to go to the clinic is your ass for a damn vasectomy. What is that? Permanent birth control for that ass. Don't let her do that. They gonna cut you. Bitch, don't be telling my son what to do. I will do that. I'm his girlfriend. I can tell him what to do. You hold no weight in this house, bitch. I am his mother. I will tell him when to piss and shit. You just lay back when he tells you to. Kyrie, since you think you so bad, you gonna do your little time at alternative school. But when you get out that bitch, your ass is going to Sam Houston High School where them kids come to school with razors in their mouth. You bad. Let's see how long you last there. I did not see that coming. Savon, you're getting snipped first thing in the morning. Hey, mama. 
Oh, Lord Jesus, Brian, do you really want to test it too? No, ma'am. I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday. And this weekend, I'd like to take you to Olive Garden to celebrate. Thank you. It's ever since you were little, you have always been the first child to tell me happy birthday. You know what, Brian, you have just become my favorite child again. Thank you. You have made my day. In the midst of all this bullshit with your brothers, you have made my day. I'd like to know which one of you sneaky fucks drank my cranberry juice. Am I talking to myself or do I have to start swinging? Now, you know I would not touch your shit, Savon. Kyrie? What? Did you drink my cranberry juice? I didn't, but I want to know what was going to happen if I did. The fuck did you? Yes or no, you fucking psycho? If I say yes, what's going to happen? You going to get your ass beat. That's what's going to happen. Can you say it again for the people in the back? Kyrie, I'm going to beat your ass if you touch my shit. Savon, I know you ain't out here threatening my baby. Mama, he drank my cranberry juice. I drank it. Come beat my ass. Come here. Do what you said you was going to do to my baby. All right, mama. Yeah, okay. And you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh... What's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, Mama? What's up, Mom? Is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host? His name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick! I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house! <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day.
Now I'm gonna go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody gonna find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, you haven't seen him. Okay, thank you. Shit. Grandma, put out an Amber alert. Brian, who the fuck is Amber? I don't want to put that bitch in my business. It's a missing child alert. It will notify people in the area that he's missing. Brian, are you stupid? I'm the one who dropped him off and I don't even remember where. Well, I've contacted all his friends and they said they haven't seen him. Oh, shit. Tamika comes back next week and Kyrie needs to be here. Wait, Grandma, you haven't told my mama? Grandma, he has been missing for three weeks now and you haven't told your daughter? I ain't scared of her. I am. Brian, you are not helping the situation, okay? I don't want to hear about me having to come clean to your mama. I want to hear about how we can find Kyrie. His location. My mama makes us turn on our location so she can see where we're at. You mean your mama has his location right now? Oh, I'm sure she does. And she has not said shit to me because? Grandma, if you know your daughter like I do, we both know that she is timing you on how long you have taken to tell her that Kyrie has been missing for three weeks. She already knows, and she has not said anything because she is waiting to see who is going to say something to her. Well, help me come up with a lie. Um, He ran away. That's what we're going to say. He ran away. What do I get out of it? What the hell do you mean? What do you get out of it? I'm already meeting a little boyfriend. Let him come over this weekend and stay the night. All right, done. That's great, but unfortunately, we are not done. How are you going to justify the timeline on why you didn't tell my mama? Oh, that's too much. It's too much. It's too complicated. My brain can't function. I don't know. Grandma, here's what you're going to say. You know that she is under a lot of pressure, and you are already actively searching for Kyrie. So you didn't want to add any more pressure to her life. If you thought that Kyrie's life was in danger, you would have said something to her. I mean, it could be in danger, but that's what you say to her. Okay? Oh, so you mean I have to actually act like I give a damn about her mental health? I like that. I, I like that. See, I always knew you was the smartest grandchild. No, you didn't. You right. You right. No, I didn't. Tammy. What's up? What do you want, little girl? I'm in the mood for you. I have an anonymous tip for you. Oh, Kyrie? No, it's about Carmen. That's not Savan's baby. Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail and her mama didn't want her taking care of the baby by herself. So she decided to pin it on the last dude that Carmen slept with and that was Savan. <laughs> Versace, you must have a lot of time on your hands. The only person giving my son a sibling is me. And I knew that bitch was lying. So they falsified a DNA test. Ha! I need receipts so I can throw it in a mama's face. Say less. Grandma, what about Kyrie? Oh, that's gonna have to wait. That's gonna have to wait because I need to blow this up in front of Carmen and her mama. And once Tamika finds out that she ain't gonna be a grandmother of two, all her stress will be gone. She ain't even gonna be worried about Kyrie and where he at or where he's been, okay? Grandma Tammy saves the day.
You don't love your life. So what's the issue? One of my demons told me you said you wasn't getting in the fire. I ain't getting in no motherfucking fire. You get in that shit. I didn't ask to be here. You didn't ask to be here, but you made decisions to get you here. Today, I only said you have to burn for five hours versus you burning for eternity. I don't show that type of mercy. I don't give a fuck how long you said I could burn. I wouldn't hop in fire on earth. Why the fuck would I hop in fire here? You obviously have not been educated on what happens when you come to hell. And God obviously didn't educate you on what type of individual you'll be getting. See, this conversation is already too long. I'm about to have my demons throw your ass in the fire and you're going to stay there. You want everybody to burn, don't you? You just mad because your cocky ass got kicked out of heaven and the Bible be talking mad shit about you. Now you want everybody to burn with you. If I got to hop in this fire for eternity, you going to hear my mouth for eternity. What do you want? I need you to make an exception. A what? Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Miss Marisol. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. <sighs> yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is... I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you going to do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here. It's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savan, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job, and if this baby is mine... Mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nunca la hera. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, no sostras estamos enamorados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta. Okay, before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. Uh, no, me and Carmen. Get hell up a house that. The bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will step up and be a father. And if it's not, I want an apology from both you bitches. In English. Well, you ain't getting shit. Baco te coma ta shit. Mira, mira, puta. Mira, queso, queso, queso. Which one of you bitches want to step around the counter? Huh? Which one? Matter of fact, hold on. Come on. Go and access my safe. The passcode is your birthday. Hey, um, when you have people over, could you kind of let me know before I get home? I was really tired last night from work and you guys were really loud. Went to work yesterday? Did you happen to get paid? I'm still missing your half of this month's rent. 
Oh, I forgot to tell you that I'm just going to double it next month. Um, I didn't get paid this month. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I was having a get together before you got home and that we were loud on purpose. And I'm also going to forget to tell you that I'm going to be throwing random house parties all this month. So you're going to be petty all month until you get your money? Or you could get out until I have my money. I have nowhere to go. Then I suggest you be grateful that being petty is all I'm doing.